Hi kids, today we'll learn how to read a clock and understand time. Let's get started. A clock has three hands that help us tell time. The hour hand is the shortest hand, and it shows the hours. It moved the slowest of the three hands. The minute hand is longer, and it tells the minutes. It moves faster than the hour hand, and shows the minutes past an hour. The second hand is the thinnest hand on the clock, and moves the fastest. It counts every second, and there are 60 seconds in a minute. Let's see how they work together. The minute hand moves around the clock in small steps, counting five minutes for each number. When the minute hand is on one, it's five minutes past the hour. On two, it's 10 minutes past the hour. On three, it's 15 minutes past the hour, quarter past. On four, it's 20 minutes past the hour. Let's keep practicing to understand it better. Example, if the hour hand is on three and the minute hand is on 12, it means the time is three o'clock. Now your turn. If the minute hand is at 12 and the hour hand is at two, what's the time? That's right, the time is two o'clock. Great job. You're learning so quickly, keep it up. Quarter past. When the minute hand is on three, it means 15 minutes have passed after the hour. For example, if the hour hand is on five and the minute hand is on three, the time is quarter past five. Or we can say 5.15. Now your turn. If the hour hand is on four and the minute hand is on three, what's the time? The time is quarter past four. Well done. You're doing an amazing job. Keep it up. Let's understand half past. When the minute hand is on six, it means 30 minutes have passed after the hour. For example, if the hour hand is on four and the minute hand is on six, the time is half past four. Or we can say 4.30. If the hour hand is on eight and the minute hand is on six, what's the time? The time is half past eight. Fantastic job. You're understanding time so well. Keep it up. Let's talk about quarter to when the minute hand is on nine. It means 15 minutes are left for the next hour. For example, if the hour hand is near five and the minute hand is on nine, the time is quarter to five. Quarter to five means 15 minutes before five, which can also be written as 445. If the hour hand is near seven and the minute hand is on nine, what's the time? The time is quarter to seven. Great job. You're becoming a time-telling expert. Keep practicing. Now that we know how to read the clock, let's quickly understand AM and PM. These tell us whether the time is in the morning or afternoon and evening. Let's see how it works. AM means morning time, from midnight, 12 AM, to noon, 11.59 AM. PM means afternoon and night, from noon, 12 PM, to midnight, 11.59 PM. For example, 8 a.m. is in the morning, 8 p.m. is in the evening. Now that we've learned about time, let's do some practice. I'll ask you a question and you can try to answer. Ready? Let's go. Question 1. If the hour hand is on 6 and the minute hand is on 12, what's the time? Answer. It's 6 o'clock. Great work. You're doing so well. Keep it up. Question two, if the hour hand is on eight and the minute hand is on six, what's the time? Answer, it's half past eight. Amazing job, you're getting better at this. Question three, if the hour hand is near nine and the minute hand is on nine, what's the time? Answer, it's quarter to nine. Excellent. You're becoming a time-telling pro. Great work, kids. You've done a fantastic job learning about time. Keep practicing, and you'll be a time-telling expert in no time. See you next time. Hope you liked the video. Like, share, and subscribe.